In this video I will show you a fast and easy way to create this freezing water animation using Cinema 4D and Redshift. First I will create a plane and I will give this plane 80 by 80 segments. And now if I click C I will make this editable and if I go in this use polygon mode I will be able to search for this command set vertex weight. And if I double click this and click OK, this vertex map tag will appear. Next, I will click use fields. I will delete this for now and add a spherical field here. Next, I will just make this smaller and I will go in this remapping and click invert. Next, I will add this freeze and I will set this blending mode to min and click this mode and select average and click auto update and now if i play the animation and move this you can see that the sphere is influencing this vertex map in this way next if i want to make this influence of this field to grow i will add this curve and i will click this and move this down a bit this handle and now if i press play and move this, you can see that the selection, the influence is growing. Next, I will add this displacer and I will go in the shading, I will click noise, I will make this bigger and I will write one here so it's animated. I will change the strength to 20 centimeters and I will drag this vertex map in this fall off tab. So now if I move this field here, you can see that it influences not only the vertex map, but also the fall off of this displacement. So now I can even add this random field here. I will set this to overlay and change the scale to 25. And now if I move this field here, you can see that the growth is a little more random. So now if I add this hand here, I can move this hand uh, over so that the finger is overlapping with this field. Now I will place the spherical field in this hand and now if I add a target tag to this hand and I disable this pitch, now I can place this plane inside of this target object and now this finger is going to be pointing at this plane. So now if I for example want this to be um, animated I can just move this hand here and as you can see the finger is touching when the finger touches this it's gonna be freezing this red part is gonna be the ice and this uh, yellow part is gonna be the water so I will change the size of this sphere so it's smaller I will, I will move this here and now I can even create a little animation here I will just click start real time here and I will create this kind of this animation so that the hand touches from the all of the sides and now if I go back and test this animation I can see that the finger is touching the sides and this field is being influenced by this sphere here so now the only thing that's left here is to create the ice and water material so I will create this new node material I will open up this node editor and I will open this redshift render view so I can see what's going on. I will add this to the plane. I will go in here and change this to water. And now I will add this dome light and if I f go in here and search for my HDR I can load it so that it's easier to see the water and ice. So the final thing is just to search for this material blender and connect this to the surface and this one needs to be connected to this layer 1 material color and now search for vertex attribute and connect this to the layer 1 blend color and in here you need to drag this vertex map and now uh, the next step would be to duplicate this and I will choose aluminum this is gonna be for the ice color and um, ice material and now connect this to the base material here so now if uh, I play the animation a bit so you can see the, the vertex map here now if I click render you can see that this is these two colors this this vertex map is also influencing the material redshift material here 
So that's it. If you spend more time on this ice texture here, ice material here, and uh, playing around with these settings, you might get a better result. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, write them in the comments, and uh, have a nice day.